Welcome, y'all. We're back up and running. Oh, it looks oh. like it just went up, and we're, we're back. back. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm Matthew Hayward, and this is Angela Niederlow, and we're the co-founders of Fox Northwest Voice Studio. We're both professional opera singers, and um, now run a vocal training studio here in Portland. And we're happy to be with you. And tonight, our presenter is Elk Cove Vineyards, and we are sipping a little of the bubbly. What a wonderful way to start an evening. So let's just jump back right in where we were, Matt. Hey, we're going to start the evening off with a little bit of French art song, Maurice Ravel's Don Quixote à Dulcine. Uh, this is a three-song set uh, that starts with uh, a pledge, followed by a prayer, followed by a good old-fashioned drinking song. So we are really, really excited to be singing for you guys tonight. And we're going to do some musical uh, food pairings along the way also. All right, here we go. Si vous me disiez que la terre a ta tournée vous offense, je ne les pas jamais dans ça. Vous n'avez rien fixé sur terre. Si vous me Oh. 
shot a dulcine and tonight um, we are going to pair that with since it's happy hour with a little bite of what goes better with French art song than French cheese so how about a little brie bite with black fig honey and pomegranate cheers Ooh, doesn't that look good the recipes for these guys for our Nibbles and Notes launch will be on the Facebook page, Nibbles and Notes. Recipes, pictures, and all that kind of good kind of stuff. So for you guys just tuning in, we are starting a vlog, monthly vlog, called Nibbles and Notes that will uh, air on the first of every month. We're opera singers and home cooks, and we thought, why not marry the two together? That's right, because we're married. Yeah. And what are we pairing this with tonight? Well, this goes super well with the alcove. Oh, you can't really see. We don't breathe. The Alcove Pinot Gris right. Delish. Did you get one of these? No, I, oh, I have to think some, some, some hand, no, some, yeah, handle. I have yeah. to think some handle. Okay, well, it's delicious. Angie, what's up next? Well, what is up next? Okay, I'm going to be doing, hi, I'm going to be doing two handle arias. One's kind of a vengeful piece, it's pretty fiery. Um, and I get to play a boy. And I think we mentioned this before that um, the translations I think are pinned in the comments. Um, so you can check those out or um, we are told that even on the Artslandia um, website that they are also there. So the first one's uh, a real fiery piece. Um, uh, the, this uh, trouser roll is out to avenge his father. Then after that, I felt like we need a little bit of hope. And this is, uh, so the first one is Svegliatevi uh, nel cuore from uh, Handel's Giulio Cesare. And the second is just the A section because I think that's all the color tour our mama can handle right now. Um, Dopa Notte from Ario Dante. In vano i elementi e il tempo ossesta mai Ti venti cari il padre si sveglia di vendetta L'anima genitosa che offesa ti rondò Thank you. 
drink after that. I do. I'm going to go get some other. Oh, what does this pair well with, Matt? Funny you should ask. Why not have a caprese bite to go with some Handel Italian opera? Okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but maybe later. You know what else it pairs well with? Tell me. Elk Cove Vineyards Pinot Noir. That sounds delicious. It's the estate Pinot Noir, I'll have you know. Angela, did you know that Elk Cove Vineyards was founded in 1974 and is 100% estate grown and family owned? And they've collaborated with our friends at Portland Opera for well, decades. Well, tell me more. Well, they started in 1989 with their first La Boheme Pinot Noir. La Boheme, one of my favorite operas to sing. Oh. Puccini, I love you, but you wrote basically nothing for Metza. That's true. That's true. Uh, hey, uh, you know what's what's up next? Why not some good old American musical theater, y'all? How about that? How about we just kind of like change it up a little bit? Right. Hey, Matt. <laughs> yes, Angela. Is this our Arts Landia happy hour? It is our Arts Landia happy hour. Welcome, everyone. Good to see you. <sighs> we had a rocky start, but guess what? We're back again. I think we're back. We are back. In I think full effect. Um, thank you, Arts Landia. Yes, for thank you for having just us. Steering the ship. Yeah. Steering it. Loving it. Woo! Uh, okay, hey, guess what? I'm going to do a couple of good old fashioned musical theater classics. One you probably have never heard of, um, a song called Last One Picked from a great show called Whoop De Doo. Whoop De Doo! Whoop De Doo! And then another one, uh, well, I'll let you figure out what it is, but it's from, it's from uh, South Pacific. All right. Never heard of it. <laughs> we have comic relief going on here. Do we have any questions though? I'm just seeing like we're, we're, we have some things that people are saying. Oh, Eleanor Cosgrove, Farland, you rock too. Does anyone have any questions? Where did Cassandra, you go? Cassandra, we love you. Anyone? Oh, of course, our favorite Ashley Coates. Is the world a better place for Ashley Coates? Can we, I'm just saying that. Arslania, you've got to see that amazing Arts Lady Happy Hour with Ashley Coates last month, and tell me that wasn't off the hook. So, amazing, amazing. Alice Dalrymple, wonderful educator, wouldn't have gotten here without you. Thank you. Oh, well, when was the last time we, we performed together? That's the thing, you know, we, we very infrequently be able, are able to perform together. We both have been lucky to have, you know, nice careers singing on the stage. But it's very rare that baritones and mezzos uh, perform leading roles and, and sing to, together. So I think last time we sang together was a recital, right? Uh, that's usually yeah. that's usually it. On the yeah. opera stage or in theater, you know, not not really. Right, you know? right. Few and far between, unless you just we're always doing Barbara Seville's or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's or, the only, or, I think or, that or, might be the only role. No, Peleus and Molly Stone. And Cozy Funku. And Cozy, right. Yeah. yeah. But there's not much There's not much more. Few and far between. Yeah. Hi, Aaliyah. Um, Jill, are you talking to me about this? Do you have dark hair? Yes, I've had every color under the rainbow, Jill. But this hides the gray a little bit better, Jill. So we're going with blonde. I was born a toehead. We're going out as a show head. All right. Hey, I want to sing. Okay. Some of you might be able to relate uh, to this. I certainly can. Link a glass and wipe your eye for my bygone days at Kent Ridge High. And the class I used to dread, the ego buster they called Fizz Ed. Basketball, baseball, football, stickball, volleyball, dodgeball, tetherball, kickball. Playing was hell, the worst of all was the ritual that came first of all. Let me tell you about it. Last one picked, non-athletic. Last one picked, at sports I was pathetic. Other kids could tumble and run, but my coordination was totally un. Six guys left, stomach stinking. Three guys left, my self-esteem was shrinking. Felt so ashamed I could have cried. Nobody wanted me on their side. 
How many notes did I forge to say? Please excuse Matthew from Jim today. He's wrenched his back. His stomach's spastic. He's got meningitis and his kneecaps are plastic. I was the last one picked. Rejected by the rabble. Last one picked. I could beat them all at Scrabble. My brains didn't do me a bit of good. The bottom of the barrel was where I stood. The time went by and I met you, Angela, and learned a team could consist of two. The way I was was a okay. Who cares about kids' games anyway? Last one picked. The past is past now, last one picked. At last, I'm not the last now. I'm first draft on that winning team. Like I always dreamed I'd be. Imagine my surprise when out of all those other guys you picked me. Shuffle ball change. Can anyone relate to that? I love that song. I don't know. All right. Um, okay, now we're going to slow it down, ladies and gentlemen. Slowing it down. Still enchanted evening, you may see a stranger, you may see a stranger across a crowded room, and somehow you know, you know even then, that somewhere you'll see her again and again. Some enchanted evening, someone may be laughing, you may hear her laughing across a crowd, and night after night, as strange as it seems, the sound of her laughter will sing Who can exit? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons, wise men never try. Some enchanted evening, when you find your true love, when you feel her call you across a crowd. And fly to the sky and make her your own. Or all through your life, you may dream all alone. Once you have found her, never let her go. Once you have found her, never let her go. Bravo! Bravo! That sounds about you, my love. Oh, thank you, my love. What about our love for pigs in a blanket? Oh, what could be more American and go with musical theater more than pigs in a blanket? Come on! What have we got here? Come on! A little, little puff pastry and a cocktail weenie and some of our um, homemade mustarda. Again, you guys, these recipes and um, uh, uh, and pictures will be on on our Facebook page at Nibbles and Notes. I'm just gonna have to have a little bite because you're gonna have, have to have a nibble. I, I might sing a note. Okay. Oh. You guys, this is our happy hour with Artslandia. Thanks for being here. We're excited and thank you for Elk. Co Vineyards for presenting this evening. And we're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Angela, Angela's up next. <laughs> I am. Uh, we're going back to the motherland, Germany. That's right, Germany. 
Um, these two pieces, very near and dear to my heart. Fruiting, both are Schubert pieces. Fruiting's Glaube, which just like Double Note, talking about um, in the even in the darkest of times, there's still the morning that comes, and uh, we're richer for it, right? And and we've battled through it, but on the other side of it, we're stronger. Fruiting's Glaube gives us the um, the the promise of springtime, which is hope, and um, I'm. I'm glomming on to that like nobody's business during this time. So I hope this gives you a little bit of reprieve as well. And then I'm following it up with um, another chestnut, Schubert, on die Musik, which uh, gives the greatest honor to music, which I think is what's speaking, one of the things that's speaking to us right now and that we're, that we're needing, and it's a good shot in the arm. So here's Frühlingsglaube by Schubert.
those German art songs or any art song, sometimes when you first learn them in maybe uh, high school or college, that they're overdone. But I'm telling you, they're famous for a reason. <laughs> I like a good German art song. Yeah. And I like a good tribute to music like that. Exactly. Exactly. I love songs about singing and music about music. That's true. We like a good theme. <laughs> Don't we? I guess we're guilty of that. Yeah, That's true. That's we true. Are. We are. Hey, Portland Opera. Thanks for chiming in. Hey, Portland Opera. We miss you guys. Hey, listen, I just wanted to put out a big shout out to all of our friends in the Portland restaurant and food industry. We miss you guys too. And um, we, we are pulling for you. Um, uh, same thing in the, in, the, in the Oregon music community, um, not just the classical music community, but the theater community, music performing inter entertainment industry in general. We, uh, I can't wait to get back on the boards sometime soon. And I know that you, know, you would love to you know as well, but um, we just got to hunker down for now guys and, and, and hopefully give you a little love through the, through the screen. Yeah, through the interwebs. And yeah. And through the interwebs. Angie, what were you going to pair with your German art song? Well, fancy, you should ask. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. A musical pairing for a German art song with... We did a schnitzel with a dollop of... So did we talk about this, that these are just little bites? These schnitzel are Schnitzel bite. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so that's what tonight's all about. We're just doing a mousse-bouche. Did I say that right? Yeah. What? Yes. Okay, a mousse-bouche with, with our sets. And so we've got a little bit of um, schnitzel and a dollop of... Um, potato, and then we did some um, lovely. Um, uh, per, it's called purple cabbage on top. Little kraut. Yeah, kind of like a little kraut. Yeah, so that's situation. what's doing. And you know what that pairs well with? The La Boheme, the La Boheme, the mother Noir. of all Pinot Noirs. <clears throat> Elko, thank you, Elko. Well, uh, I think we're kind of getting ready to, to wrap it up just a little bit, right? I think it's duet time, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we finally get to sing together. Yeah. I <clears throat> uh, just wanted to talk about what's coming up. Sounds like uh, Arts Lanny is just going to be taking a little bit of an intermission at the end of the month. So um, one, the wonderful series with um, Mondays with Maestro, with the Maestro, is happening this Monday. Uh, the last one of those for a little bit, just taking a little break. And then, oh my gosh, I'm super jealous of this. So Storm Large, amazing, um, having a backyard concert on Tuesday the 30th, and Artslandia has generously, uh, will be living that stream, um, sorry, streaming that live. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, the, the, it's also a fundraiser for Gimme Shelter. And, and I know that the, that's a um, project that is near and dear to Storm. So that's amazing. So um, yeah, there's only 10 tickets available. No, it's actually sold out. Oh, sold out. Okay. Sold out. But I bet you can still make a donation uh, on the live stream. I bet that that is um, going to be happening. So it seems like a very important cause. And, of course, Storm Large, amazing. Um, so uh, tune, in, tune in to those. And can I just also say publicly – Archlanda, you guys have done such an amazing job during this time. Every single night, having an Archlandia happy hour. You guys, you you deserve a break. You've been just working so hard and having all these amazing different various artists and chefs, um, dancers, painters. I mean, it, it's incredible. So I don't know how you've done it, but you've really done such a wonderful, streamless, Seems like easy, seems at least out here, easy job, but I know that you've been working real, 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 real hard. So thank you to Arts Landy for keeping um, that wonderful series happening and we can't wait for it to come back. That'll be terrific. 
So for the dessert course, we're going to do a little um, song time and then a little bit of a um, special um, surprise for everyone. Well, okay, let's talk about the pairing real quick. So, okay. Oh, well, maybe we should wait. Okay, we'll wait. This is a song from uh, Stephen Sondheim's Evening Primrose. pleasure of doing, uh, uh, how do you say it? It's called a cabaret <laughs> with our good friend Darcy White. She has a series, Cabaret White, and we were able to participate in that back in April, which seems like six years ago. <laughs> um, and so we uh, participated in that and we uh, closed it with this little ditty. And so thank you for Darcy White for playing on this last um, selection for you. This is Fred Rogers, it's you I like. And this goes out to every one of you. Cause... All of you, we like you guys. Okay, I might try to get through this. Okay. <laughs> it's you I like. It's not the things you wear, it's not the way you do your hair, but it's you I like, the way you are right now, the way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your toys, but they're just beside you. It's you. I like it. Every 
every part of you. Your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember even when you're feeling blue. That it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you. It is you. It's you. Love you guys. Thank you, Artslandia, for letting us be part of this incredible series. We are wishing you all a fantastic summer. Please check out foxnorthwest.com. If anyone's interested in voice lessons out there, we're getting amazing things done virtually through the interwebs, and uh, we'd love to have you be part of our team, part of our studio. Also, check out our new venture. Nibbles and Notes. If you want to make some of these dishes and little moose bushes, you can. So tune in uh, every first of the month on our uh, Facebook um, web page, Nibbles and Notes, and we'll be doing music pairing with food. And we'll hope to see you guys. Our next broadcast for the studio is going to be July 15th at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page for a roll swap concert. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, Archlandia, and thank you, Elk Cove Vineyards. So much fun being with you tonight. We love you, Portland. We'll Can't wait to see you soon. We'll see you soon.